Welcome on this St. Patrick's Day coverage of Round 3 Football New South Wales League 1 women's match between Bankstown City and Marconi Stallions. I'm Melissa Musket and I'm looking forward to bringing you this week's match of the round between two of New South Wales' biggest grassroots football clubs. Bankstown City has begun their campaign with 19 goals in two games. That's not an error. They have proven to be one of the attacking machines of the competition. But no doubt Marconi will be out to spoil that party here tonight. They're a football club with a rich history and high standards. So today's lineups, Bankstown City, the home side. Number two, Jess Frampton. Number three, Stephanie Ambrose. Number four, Zoe Sashek. Number five, Angelina Mastoris. Number six and captain, Liana Danaskos. Number eight, Sky Kasachia. Number nine, Rakaya El Faraja. Number 13, Zali Dean. Number 16, Mariam Mostamigin. Number 18, Ayasino. Number 20 in goals, Jasmine Lawler. Substitutions for Bankstown are number 11, Annabelle Forbes. Number 15, Chelsea Gregorich. Number 21, Ivana Frenulovic. Number 35, Claire Witten. Number 41, Heba El Sadiq. And number 44, Jasmine Stretton. Visitors tonight, Marconi Stallions, they will be wearing the green strip. Number five, Erin Cleghorn. Number eight, Marie Herrera. Number 10, Julia Figuera. Number 11, Michelle Dalbon. Number 13, Charmaine Marquinez. Number 14, Tanya Babin. Number 15, Ashley Limnios. Number 16, Nicole Carmichael. Number 17, Melina Manor. Number 20, and in goals, Danielle Greeny. Number 29, Olivia Marcioni. The substitutions for Marconi are number two, Heidi Bennett. Number three, Emma Volita. Number four, Ella Sievright. Number six, and who I'm told is captain, Sarah Urquhart. So I'm not sure who the captain is to um, start the match. Uh, number nine, Angelique Scapettis. And number 12, Daniela Brickich. Two coaches are ex-Western Sydney Wanderers and Socceroos teammates and good friends who hold each other in very high esteem. Speaking to both of them this week, both had very kind words for one another. Ante Kovic and Michael Beecham, but the friendship will be on hold for the next 90 minutes as a successful start to the season for their teams is undoubtedly the priority. Ante Kovic, the head coach for Bankstown City, he's new to the role only two weeks in, which makes the feat even more spectacular. Still getting to know his squad, as he informed me. Speaking to him during the week, he said 11-0 is a semi-professional record for him, which he and his team are proud to claim. Only surpassed by his son's under-9s team that he coached. Tonight, Jasmine Lawler will step up into goals for Bankstown, as Stephanie Grimbalos has had work commitments. I'm sure that's going to be big shoes for her to fill with uh, two clean sheets in the past two weeks for Bankstown but it's also a great opportunity for her to um, stake her claim. Ayasino, she's from Japan, very new to Australia, only arriving this year. Uh, Kovic is most impressed with her work ethic. Um, She's proven to be a goal-scoring machine, scored four goals in her team's 8-0 win and five goals in the team's 11-0 win. I wonder if we'll see her in the A-League anytime soon. It's a possibility. Michael Beecham, very happy with the team culture and where they're at. He's informed me that the team had to go through a pretty big rebuild with half the team being new or having sustained injuries. He expects today's game to be a tough one, but they have prepared well and will be up for the challenge. Can't see Marconi taking this one lying down. They are a very, very proud football club. Just about to kick off here in Regent's Park. And here we go. Kick off here at Jensen Park. Bankstown City versus Marconi Stallions. (laughs) 
Manxtown City begin the game with possession. Some back passing going on. Throw in now to Bankstown City. Just comes off Rukaya Alfaraja, who is affectionately known as Rookie to her head coach and teammates. Bankstown City get a free kick. Already started the game with domination, but cleared away by Marconi's defence. Michelle Dalbon gets it to Julia Figuera, but intercepted by Bankstown. Pass down the left, just a bit too much for her winger. So now Marconi have a throw-in, which appears to be Erin Cleghorn taking the throw. Town back with possession, chasing that first goal. Sarah Urquhart. Pass through by Marie Herrera. Marconi get possession back. They pass it through to Julia Figuera. Lovely ball there. But covered well by Bankstown City defence. The throw in now for Marconi. Ashley Limnios will take the throw. And again. Of Faraja. Fouled. So now Bankstown get the free kick. Big kick down the left. Just goes out for a goal kick to Marconi. In the hands of Danielle Greeny. Short pass to her defender. Controlled well by Figuera, but just intercepted by Bankstown. Big boot there from Heidi Bennett. She seems to be quite safe in the back. Bennett again. Tries to find Alfaraja. Apologies, I think I um, announced the wrong defender there for Bankstown. It's not Heidi Bennett. It is, in fact, Jess Frampton, the big, big boot. (sighs) 
First corner of the game to Bankstown City. Nice cross, but nobody there to finish it. And my Coney get possession for a throw to Bankstown. Bankstown safe in defence again. Frampton. Big cross in again. Down the left for Bankstown. El Faraja crosses it in. Shot at goal. Lovely goal to Bankstown City. Ayacino, the goal scoring machine has struck again. Hopefully she will make Australia her new home from Japan. She's definitely on fire in the um, goal scoring stakes. Seven minutes gone. Manxtown City Lions lead. Marconi Stallions 1-0. Stamigi. Fine Sino, she's dangerous on the ball. She passes it through down the left, but the linesman has called offside. Marconi now with the ball. Down the right for Marconi. Just too much on that. So now Bankstown will get the throw. I pass it back to Mariam Mustagimi. Through the middle for Bankstown. Right, Marconi trying to tussle. They do win the possession back. Marie Herrera passes it through, but Bankstown have the possession once again. Down the left wing for Bankstown, but just too much on that. So now Marconi will get the throw. Bankstown with a switch of play to the right. Liana Danascos for Rukaya Alfaraja. Down the right wing, she's looking to cross it, but Marconi are putting on the pressure. She gets it to Zoe Zashek. And Marconi have kicked it out. So Bankstown City for the throw. Retain possession. Looks to find Ayacino, but Marconi defense have it covered well. Kasachia to Jess Frampton. To Mustamigi. 
passes it down the left. Ayasino has the ball. Oh, Makini take it off her quite quickly. Don't want to give her time on the ball. Thanks, Town City fouled. So they'll now get a free kick after the halfway line. Will Frampton get one of her big kicks in or is she going to let somebody else take it? No. Nope. Looks like her defenders have full faith in her. Frampton kicks it in. Does find Sino, but a bit too much on it. Danielle Greeny with the big kick. She's not going for the short pass this time. Let Bankstown get possession once again. There's Ayasino. She's got the ball. She's going to have a shot. Yes, she puts it away again. What an absolute goal-scoring machine this young lady is. 2-0 Bankstown City. Speaking to Ante Kovic this week, he said, understandably, her English is still developing, but hey, when you can put a ball away like that, you know, the English will come. I'm sure her teammates read her very well on the football field. Marconi with possession in defence. Passing back. Bankstown City pressing. Rakaya. She's putting the pressure on. Bankstown City. Liana Danascos, captain. Marconi have it covered. Pass back to their goalkeeper, Danielle Greeny. She goes for the short pass and, oh, her defender tries to pass it back but has a bit too much on that, loses control, and so Bankstown City will get the corner. This could be dangerous. Thirteen and a half minutes gone. In Bankstown City lead. Marconi Stallions 2 0. Rakaya Alfaraja lines up for the corner. Oh, she does find their head of, I believe, Miriam Ostigimi. But just too much on that. Bankstown are definitely pressing, putting that pressure on. They are not taking the foot off the pedal, even though they find themselves in a very good position here at 2-0. McKinney now get the kick down the right. But nobody there, unfortunately, to capitalise. And possession lands back with Bankstown City. Saved well there by Mr. Migi. Down the right for Mastoris. Bankstown have it. Very good position, but intercepted by Marconi and safe in the hands of Danielle Greeny. <laughs> Bit of confusion there. Bankstown back with possession. They are running up the middle. 
Liana Danascos looked like she was going to take the shot, but just blocked. Nicole Carmichael down the right wing for Marconi. Coaches are very vocal here this evening. <coughs> Filling out instructions to their players. Oh, nice boot there from Marconi, but just wide. Not quite on target. Appears to be Marie Herrera. Jasmine Lawler, she hasn't had much to do this evening. Here we go, Bankstown on their way. Some calls for offside, but no referee says play on. Ayasino again. There she is, the hat trick. Ayasino, three goals in 17 minutes. Crowd not happy, saying it appeared to be offside, but the goal stands. Maybe seeing Ayasino in the A-Leagues. It's not too far off if she keeps going like this. It's quite fascinating that Bankstown City have had these huge score lines in their first three games. 8-0, 11-0. Now we're 3-0 up. After only 17 minutes that went by. And their head coach is Ante Kovic, who was Socceroos goalkeeper. So obviously, quality in goals, but quite ironic that they're attacking very, very well this season. Maybe he's given them a target. Whatever he's doing, it's, it's absolutely working. So well done to Ante Kovic and the Bankstown City team. Throw in for Marconi. Time to get possession back. I'm sure they want a goal before half time. Don't want to be 3 0 down and chasing chasing that score line in the second half. Would not be easy to come back from. Covered well there by Jess Frampton for Bankstown. Big kick out. Marconi will get the throw. Not far from the halfway line. But Bankstown get possession again. They seem to be well covered all across the park in attack and defence. They're a serious looking football side this season. Don't look like they'll be easy to beat somehow. Appears to be an offside call. So Bankstown, the mighty boot of Jess Frampton to kick again. She has a short pass to her defender. Sky Kasashia. Mastoris. Through. Urukaya. Alfaraja. She's got the ball on the right. Crosses in. Oh, looks for Ayasino, but saved well there by Danielle Greeny. Foul there to, for Bankstown. So they will get a free kick. on the left looking to cross it somewhere in the middle for one of their attackers but 
just crosses it short. Oh, Jess Frampton, big kick, but no wide. So Marconi for the goal kick. Daniel Greeny, just a short pass. Shelzel Bon. She'll get the throw, but finds the safe boots. Of Frampton. Gimi. Oh, she's made a good run there at the middle. It passes it. Angelina Mastoris crosses it in. And Rakaya Alfaraja has been called for offside. Twenty-three minutes gone in this first half between Bankstown City and Marconi Stallions. Scoreline is 3-0 to Bankstown with all three goals coming from striking machine Ayasino. Throw into Marconi down the right. Well, Faraja gets it again, but Intercepted by Marconi. Down the middle for Bankstown. Here they go again. Ayasino is through. She's going to challenge the keeper. She gets past her. And she, it is a goal. Another one. Ayasino scoring goals for fun. 4-0 here at Jensen Park for Bankstown City. Every one of them goals scored by number 18, Ayasino. Japanese heritage has only been in the country for a couple of months, still learning her English, but speaks very proficient football. Marconi with possession at the back. Passing down the left. Delbon. LSC right. Delbon again. Looks to cross it in, but Bankstown have their numbers. There is no letting up with this Bankstown side today. Throw in to Angelina Mastoris. She passes to Jess Frampton. Jess looking where she can kick. She's a big boot on her. She passes it down the left. Finds Ayasino. Still has the ball, Sino. She's going to go for number five. She tries to cross it to her teammate, El Faraja, but doesn't quite get there.
Marconi. Looking to push up the field. Try to pass down the right, but Bankstown defence have it covered. Throw into Marconi. Big throw in there, but finds the chest of a Bankstown player. Marconi have it now down the middle. Oh, they looked to strike, but Bankstown City have de defended in numbers. Jasmine Lawler with the ball. Mr. Gimi for Ayasino. Everybody wants to get the ball to Sino. She crosses it, but can only find a Marconi defender. Sino again. Passes it through to Alfarage, but called offside. Danielle Greeny looks like she's going to have a big boot. No, short pass to her defender. Sarah Urquhart, captain. Down the right wing. Bankstown City have it covered. Frampton. It's a very strong player at the back there. Here it is down the right for Bankstown. Zoe Zashek crosses it in. Alfaraja passes it. Cross in. Ayasino with the header. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Even the crowd are in disbelief that that actually found the back of the net. 5 nil here at Jensen Park for Bankstown City. Ayasino has scored every one of those five goals. Scoring goals for fun here in the football New South Wales League One Women's. No doubt she's going to be hot property with a few teams. I don't think Ante Kovic is going to let her go in a hurry. I just mentioned at the beginning of the game that Michael Beecham is very happy with the team culture and where they're at. It is a big rebuild. Half the team have sustained injuries or they are new, coming from other clubs. Um, he said that he expected today's game to be a tough one, but they have prepared well and they're up for the challenge. But Bankstown City just seem way too strong. One player in particular, number 18, Ayasino. But in saying that, all the Bankstown team, they're really playing well together. The defence is stoic. The midfielders are getting the passes right. Big header there from Angelina Mastoris. It's a throw in to Marconi. Delbon won't take the throw this time. If his Limnios is on the field, we were told that she was a substitute, so maybe there was a late reshuffle. Bankstown again, down the middle, but switching to the left. The left wing. Finds Ayasino. Is she going to get her sixth? No. Marconi defend. Corner to Bankstown City. 
Number nine, Ruki Alfaraja is lining up to take the corner. Crosses it in. Oh, header, but just gone wide. Nicole Carmichael passes it back. Marie Herrera. McKinney looking to pass it down the right wing. Just gets past them. Bit of a tussle between Bankstown and Marconi. Carmichael. Herrera. Marquinez. Just misses Julia Figuera. Bankstown back with possession and... Well, Farage fouled. So the free kick will go to Bankstown. Just Frampton lines up to boot it, but passes it back. Looks for Mastoris. She's on the right. She's looking to cross it in. No, she went herself. Just over. Can't let Ayasino have too much possession. Limnios. Melina Manor. Down the right for Marconi. Really having some trouble getting out of their half. Bankstown side just... Hungry for as many goals as they can get. Nice pass there. To Nicole Carmichael. But defended well by Bankstown. Looking to cross down the right. Just kicked out by LSC Wright. So it'll be a throw into Bankstown. Angelina Mastora steps up for the throw. Looks for Iacino, but Marconi defenders say, nope, not happening. They now have possession. Zoe Zashek passes it down the middle. Just Frampton too quick. Bankstown again with possession. Yana Danaskos passes back. Miriam Mustagimi down the left. It's called offside to Bankstown. So Marconi will get the possession to Neil Greeny. <laughs> looked like she was going to pass to Sarah Urquhart there, but no. She goes down her right. Just a bit too much. So a throw into Bankstown City. Stigimi to Jess Frampton. Finds Ayasino. She crosses it through, but nope, Marconi have it defended. And it looks like an offside call there as well. So Marconi... We'll get the ball again. Thirty six minutes gone in this match here at Jensen Park. 
between Bankstown City versus Marconi Stallions. The scoreline is 5 0 in this first half to Bankstown. Down the left for Marconi, Michelle Dalbon. Bankstown with the throw. We have some fur babies here today. Very vocal. Cute little cavoodles. Wouldn't mind taking one of those home, actually. Bankstown again. Possession down the left. Looking to press up the field. Just Frampton finds Zoe Zashek. Sky Kasashia. Some back passing there for Bankstown. Stigimi. Angelina Mastoris. Oh, looks for. Alfaraja, but just has too much on it. So Danielle Greeny, Marconi's goalkeeper, has the ball. She's going to go for a big kick down the middle. Ashley Limnios. Martinez, nice run. Passes it through to the right for Erin Cleghorn. Oh, she's going to cross it. Oh, lovely goal, Marconi Stallions. Get one back before halftime. Nice goal, that one. Goal to the number five for Marconi, Erin Cleghorn. Not an easy angle, but she got past the keeper. And I do believe that that's the first goal Mar uh, Bankstown have conceded this season. I don't think they've had too much to be disappointed about with a scoreline of 5 1. The regular goalkeeper for Bankstown is Stephanie Grimbilos, who has had work commitments today. So, big chance for Jasmine Lawler to stake her claim. Not much she could have done, and that was a lovely goal. I'm sure she's happy to get the opportunity. Throw in for Bankstown. Mastoris looking for Alfaraja. Alfaraja still with possession, crosses it in. Oh, and there's no one there to finish it. Attackers just a tad far back. And I do believe that the head coach of Marconi, Michael Beecham, has just been shown a red card. He wasn't happy about something. He was very vocal about it. And the referee was very quick to pull out that red card, which you don't often see to head coaches, but obviously something was said and not happy. So I believe that... The assistant coach is Nathan Randall. He will take over from the coaching duties for this game. Bankstown with possession again. Scoreline here tonight between Bankstown City and Marconi Stallions is 5-1. Marconi is getting one goal back before half time. She'll be handy for them. Five minutes of regular time left in this first half. I can't see there being too much stoppage time. Haven't had too many injuries. I 
And apart from the red card to head coach Michael Beecham of Marconi, I don't believe there have been any other cards in the game. It's been pretty clean to this point. Ayasino turns, gets the clinical pass in. Mastoris down the right. She looks for Zoe Zashek, but just has a bit much on that, so it'll be a Marconi throw in. Ashley Limnios for the throw. Passes back. <laughs> to Limnios. Finds Del Bon. Del Bon has been fouled, so they will get the free kick. Sarah Urquhart. Oh, she passes it. Looked like Ayasino was going to intercept there, but no. Back with Urquhart. Limnios. Back to Urquhart. Melina Manor. Some short passes going on at the back there, but oh. Well, Faraja looked to put some pressure on the goalkeeper, but didn't quite get there. So Marconi have the possession back. Look to unleash down the left wing, but there was just too much on that, so it'll be a Bankstown City throw. Faraja. Again, she seems to be everywhere today. Real workhorse she is. Gets fouled in the process, so Bankstown City have a free kick. Angelina Mastoris crosses it in the middle. Oh, looks for Ayasino who almost got it, but there we go. Oh, Faraja again. Don't think she's going to rest till she gets a goal this game. Danielle Greeny kicks it down the right. Erin Cleghorn is fouled. So Marconi get the kick. Marie Herrera. Passing back to Urquhart. Manor. Switch down the middle for Marconi. Referee says Jess Frampton has pushed a Marconi player in the back. So Marconi get a free kick. A very nice position in front of goal. Like Marie Herrera is stepping up to take it. Bankstown City have that wall formed. Well, they have been told to move back. A little bit eager there. You can see they are really in a fight to keep that goal difference up. Not concede anymore. Oh, lovely shot. Oh, lovely save by Jasmine Lawler. Well done. And that's half time here at Jensen Park. Bankstown City lead the Marconi Stallions 5 1. Pretty much right on at 45 minutes as well, not too much, not too much stoppage time there. Big attacking performance from Bankstown City 
all five of their goals coming from Japanese import Ayasino. And the goal to Marconi Stallions was a beautiful goal by number five, Erin Cleghorn. Lovely angle.
back here at Jensen Park, ready to start the second half. As it stands, the goal line, is, the goal, sorry, the score line is five-one to Bankstown City. They lead Marconi Stallions. We have had one red card in the match, and that was to Marconi head coach Michael Beecham, who is very good friends with Bankstown head coach Ante Kovic. I was very fortunate to witness Michael Beecham's very first under fives game at Wetherill Park Westerners. Not the game he coached, the game he actually played. He played alongside my brother for many years. And they played at Marconi, so Michael is very familiar with the Marconi culture. Big football club. He played there for many years, went back there, I think after he played abroad. Both Michael and Ante, very tall figures. Ante Kovic, goalkeeper for the Socceroos, stands at 193 centimetres. And Michael Beecham isn't, isn't much shorter at 190 centimetres. He could have easily been a goalie. You wouldn't want to cross them, but they are both very friendly, gentle giants, so don't think there's an issue there. Marconi in the huddle, regrouping, saying, come on, we need to get back. We need to score some goals. Bankstown. Won their past two games, 8-0, 11-0. Today they are leading 5-1. But Marconi are very pumped up. We just heard that roar there from the team. Been very vocal on the pitch as well. They are not conceding this game. They look like they're up for a fight. So here we are, return of the second half. Marconi begin with possession. Down the left. Marconi looking to get the ball up the field so they can create some chances. I'm sure they'll want to start one or two goals soon enough. To decrease the 5 1 deficit. Ayasino switches it down the left. Zali Dean gets it through to Akaya Alfaraja, but she's called for offside. Coney. Sarah Urquhart, captain. Passing it down from Melina Manor. But Bankstown retrieved possession. Crossed in. But taken well. By Danielle Greeny. Both goalkeepers here look almost identical today with their pink kits and blonde ponytails. A bit confusing. Jasmine Lawler, she needs to get rid of it. Danielle Greeny just unleashes it for her Bankstown defender. Mustigimi switches it to Stephanie Ambrose. Down the left for Bankstown, Zali Dean. 
Wins the throw. Miriam Mustikimi unleashes for Liana Danaskos. Headed by Melina Mena. Could hear that. It's a big header, that one. And Ayasino has the ball. Two defenders on her. Is she going to get past? Ooh, a bit of a tussle there in the penalty area, but referee says play on. No foul. And we have a player down in Melina Manor. Not sure if it's that header from before. No, it looks like she's clutching a shoulder. She copped a couple of hard hits there in quick succession, so hopefully she's okay. The teammates rallying around, as are the Bankstown City players. Getting some medical attention on field. She looks to be in real pain. Don't see players, particularly in the women's league, going down too often unless there's a real issue. So hopefully it's not too serious. Melina Mello still receiving some medical attention. She's slowly getting to her feet, though. Is she coming off or is she going to stay on? No, it looks like she'll be coming off the field. I hope she's not too injured or she's wincing in pain. Looks like Marconi may be getting ready to make a substitution. And the referee has missed it, but no, he's been called back. So they will, looks like they will... Be putting a sub on for Melina Manor. Just looking to see who Manor is being replaced with. Can't see the number just yet. Possibly, it looks like it's number two, Heidi Bennett, who has come on for the replacement. Well, Marconi with possession. Very good position there. Uh, can't just passes it back. Oh! Right. And Bankstown City have scored an absolute screamer. And the goal scorer is number eight, Sky Kasachia. Lovely goal there. Kaney did have the possession briefly. Looked like they were going to get it away, but no. And now we have a Bankstown player down. Looks like it's Rukaya Alfaraja, but she's back on her feet.
So the score line here at Jensen Park in Sydney South West is 6-1 Bankstown City lead Marconi Stallions. And we have a different goal scorer for Bankstown. First five was scored by Ayasino with the latest goal scored by Sky Casaccia. A little bit of an error there, but uh, Bankstown safe. Jess Frampton boots it away. Finds Sky Casaccia, but finds a Marconi defender in Sarah Urquhart. But Bankstown get possession back. They're a very quick side as well. Blink and you'll miss it. Sally Dean, Faraja, but no. Taken by Danielle Greeny. And an offside called. So Marconi back with possession. Sub Heidi Bennett. Nice big boot there. Finds Julia Figuera. But Bankstown defenders are too strong. Aaron Cleghorn. First half goal scorer. It's another lovely goal scored. Today we've had some, some nice goals scored here. We've been treated to some exciting football. Now Marconi for the corner. Shell Dalbon to take the corner. Crossed in, looking for the head of one of her attackers. Oh, does find the boot, but nope. Big bit. Oh, Rakaya is going to take on the goalkeeper. She gets past her. Heidi Bennett is there. Oh, and she gets it away. Well done to Rakaya Alfaraja, affectionately known as Rookie. Definitely not a rookie, though. She's a great player. Looks to be quite experienced on the football field, and I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get that goal today because she's worked really hard in attack. And I hope I'm right. I think it's now 7-1 to Bankstown City. Losing count here. So Bankstown City lead 7-1 to Marconi Stallions. Another thing that's a bit confusing is uh, the Bankstown City numbers. Uh, the stripes and, and the silver numbers for someone with a stigmatism, a bit short-sighted like myself, not really easy to see. Maybe they can put some white numbers on next year. That'd be lovely. <laughs> All right, here we go. So... Bankstown with possession yet again. Down the right wing. Rakaya Elfaraja. She's going for a second. Oh, what a boot. But just goes over. She's got a kick on her. I don't know what Ante Kovic is feeding these players, but it's definitely working. The goals are a plenty for this side. Twenty six goals in three games. It's quite extraordinary. Marconi trying to get it away. I'm sure they'd like another goal. Very soon. But no. Taken safely there by Mustagimi. She's also been safe in the back for Bankstown City this evening. Rakaya Alfaraja. Here she goes again. Down the right. Is she going to go herself or is she going to cross it in? She looks for the cross. But no. Taken well by Erin Cleghorn. She clears it. Oh, 
Nice boot there by Ashley Limnios, I think it was. Oh, goalkeeper just not sure if there's a bit of a tangle, but she's, she's up and she seems to be okay. Jess Frampton just checking in, making sure she is okay. Although I'm not sure who they'd replace her with, with um, Stephanie Grimbalos out. Hopefully they have an under-20s keeper ready to go should the need come up. Cleghorn still got possession, looking to cross it in. Passes it to Figuera. Crosses it in. But no. Safe again by Mostagimi. She's quite a brick brick wall there with her goalkeeper. Oh, surprise substitution here. Number nine, Rakaya El Faraja. Fantastic game. Goal scorer as well. She's coming off. And she will be replaced by... looking to see the number. By number 15. Number 15, Chelsea Gregorich. And we have another substitution as well. So number 15, Chelsea Gregorich has replaced Rakaya Alfaraja. And we now have a substitution for Marconi. Taking the field is number nine, Angelique Scapettis. And also for Marconi is number 29, Olivia Marcioni. Her cart to take the free kick for Marconi Stallions. She crosses it in the midfield. But Bankstown there in numbers. They get the possession back. Iacino running up the middle of the park. Switches it down the right. Bankstown still with possession, looking to get the cross in. Safely taken by Heidi Bennett for Marconi. Oh, lovely shot there by number eight, Sky Kasachia, looking to repeat her lovely goal, but didn't quite get there. Sixty-two minutes gone in this match. Still plenty of time for Marconi to get a couple of goals back. Heidi Bennett passes it down the right, but just goes out. So it'll be a Bankstown throw. Ambrose. That's to give me. Ambrose. Sky Kasachia crosses it in. Lovely ball. Michelle Delbon chases it. She has some speed on her as well, Delbon. So it's a Marconi throw.
Teutonic one. Even the Mimic. Free kick goes to Bankstown City. Jess Frampton. With another one of her trademark big kicks. Gets into the 18-yard box but headed out by Marconi Defence. Bankstown got possession again down the left. And the referee has called a penalty. against number two, Heidi Bennett. Let's see who takes up, uh, who steps up for the uh, penalty. Can take one guess. Might be wrong, but um, I think I'm right. Number 18, goal scoring machine, Iacino. Although we have seen goal scorers miss penalties, but here she goes. Looking to increase the lead to 8-1 for Bankstown City. Will Danielle Greeny save it? Oh, saved by Danielle Greeny. Well done. So Greeny keeps the score at 7-1 to Marconi. Lovely when you see keepers save penalties. Must be a very feel-good moment for them. Corner for Bankstown. And it'll be a goal kick to Marconi. No, apologies, it's another corner. So Bankstown get a second corner. Oh, Marconi just headed out. And they are looking to... Go on the counter. Oh, just pushed there a little by Bankstown, but referee says play on. Tanya Babin. Can you still have possession? Danielle Greeny. Passing it to Heidi Bennett. Pushing up the wing. She's gone very high for a defender. She's looking to cross it to one of her attackers. Erin Cleghorn crosses in but can only find Jess Frampton. And now Bankstown win the ball back. No, she will not give up Cleghorn. Bit of a tussle there but Bankstown have possession. Kasachia passes down the right. Looks to pass it through the middle, but no. Marconi are safe there with their defence. So they regain possession. Marie Herrera passes it to Dalbon. I think it was Figuera, just a bit too much on that's kicked it out. So it will be a Bankstown City throw. Bankstown City throw again. McConey have just cleared it. Just Frampton has an uncharacteristic uncontrolled kick. He kicks it out, so McConey will get the throw. A 
Coney with possession at the back. Looking to push up the field. We'd find the midfield of Bankstown City. A bit of a switch down the left. She releases it. Fazali Dean who crosses in the midfield. Danascos gets it away to Casaccia. Now down the right, looking to cross it in the midfield again, but no, just too much. And it'll be a goal kick to Marconi Stallions. Throw in to Bankstown. Stephanie Ambrose to take the throw. Powerful kick by Heidi Bennett. She's very tall, lean, but she's definitely got a boot on her. Possession back with Bankstown City. The switch down the right, but caught by Marconi defence. Nicole Carmichael back with Bankstown. And picked up safely there by Danielle Greeny. Speaking with Antikovic through the week, Zali Dean has come on. He said she's a really great substitution in defence and she could possibly even go to the midfield if needed. She's very versatile. Quite a few four-legged friends here today watching the game with their owners. I think everyone's been entertained here at Jensen Park this evening. Eight goals. Both teams still fighting. Neither taking their foot off the pedal. Marconi definitely haven't given up here. And Bankstown are still very hungry for more goals. It's, it's very obvious. Not sure whether they're going for a season record in goal scoring. But they are providing plenty of entertainment here tonight at Jensen Park. And Bankstown again with the ball. Danascos, the captain, unleashes it down the right for Mastoris. She crosses it in, but finds the hands of Danielle Greeny. Foul. So Bankstown City, they are going to have a free kick taken by Jess Frampton. Boots it down the field. Oh, headed back by Marconi. Looked a little bit tricky there, but uh, saved by the keeper.
Okay, it looks like we have a double substitution for Bankstown City. And why not? I mean, they are in a comfortable position here at 7-1. So maybe the coach wants to give some other players some park time. A little bit difficult to see these numbers here on the Bankstown jerseys, I must say. I do believe Jasmine Stretton, number four, 44, apologies, has come on. And I th think it could be number 11, Annabelle Forbes. Heidi Bennett heads it away. Urquhart boots it out. Marconi still with possession. Trying very, very hard to get it up there. Half of the field. Cleghorn. Just a bit much there. Tanya Babin. Only try to unleash down the left, but no. Finds a Bankstown City player. Danielle Greeny. Short pass. Ashley Limnios. Bankstown once again have the ball. Back with Marconi. Nice ball in. Down the right. Cleghorn still has it, looking to cross it in. Gets past one Bankstown defender, looking to get past the second. She does. Finds Marie Herrera. Just kicks it into a Bankstown City player. So we will have a corner for Marconi Stallions. Michelle Delbon has really been calling out orders to her players. Seems like captain material also. Very good leader there. She's been everywhere today as well. She steps up for the corner, crosses it in. Looks for the head of a player, but no. Finds the head of a Bankstown player. My cone is still with possession. No. Bankstown have it covered. McKinney Stallions. Oh, lovely shot there from Aaron Cleghorn. But goes just to the right. Bankstown down the right. Just too much from Jess Frampton. Bankstown still on the search for another goal. They are not letting up here today. They are ruthless. Annabelle Forbes but caught safely by Danielle Greeny. McConey now in Bankstown's half. Down the right. Scapettis crosses it in. 
picked up by Jasmine Lawler. Bit of a fumble, but safe in her hands now. Approaching the 80 minute mark now of this match. 10 minutes of regular time to go. Maybe some stoppage time with a couple of injuries that we've had. Bankstown City throw. Headed away by Marconi. Job on. Down the left. Marconi have it covered. So the scoreline is 7-1. Bankstown City lead Marconi Stallions. With Jensen Park in Sydney Southwest. There's definitely been goals aplenty. Bankstown City with the free kick. Angelina Mastoris crosses it in. Finds Cleghorn. So Marconi defend. Bankstown City fight for it again, but it will be a goal kick to Marconi Stallions. Heidi Bennett looking to get it out of Bankstown's half. Marconi's half, I should say. Marconi with the throw in. Down the left. Bankstown throw. Angelina Mastoris. Bankstown looked to be away, but Marconi had their numbers there in defence. Marie Herrera. Heidi Bennett. Switch to the right. Doesn't quite find Cleghorn. Jasmine Stredden for Bankstown. Passes it down the right. Now a switch to the left. Sky Casaccia. Apologies, Stephanie Ambrose. That eight, three looks like a bit of an eight. I do have my glasses on. But uh, the colour of the numbers and the um, darkness now is making it a little bit difficult. And number three, Stephanie Ambrose. And number eight, Sky Casaccia. Heidi Bennett looks to push up again. Headed away by Bankstown. Casaccia. Bankstown City with the throw. Ambrose. No, referee says come back. And take it that far out. So 
And Bruce tries again for the throw in. Marconi. A possession. Thanks, Town, trying hard to take it off them, but Marconi stay. Danielle Greeny looking to who to pass to. She passes it to Heidi Bennett. Just some back passing between the Marconi defenders. Just seem to have that urgency that Bankstown have. Although they are trying, it's just... Thanks, Town. Just like I said before, ruthless. That foot on the pedal and they will not let up. Despite being 7 1 leaders. Bit of a tangle there. And the referee says, no, that's a foul. Cleghorn will be taking the free kick. And it looks like Bankstown are making another double substitution. And it appears that Jess Frampton is leaving the field. She had a very solid game today. But when you are up by this margin. It does allow you the luxury to rotate players. Ante Kovic being new in the role and a couple of weeks in, he's getting to know his players and where their strengths are on the field. Throw into Bankstown City. McKinney have it covered, but Bankstown get it back. Ashley Limnios for McKinney. Bankstown say no. We'll take that back. Thank you. And referee calls a foul. Bankstown City with the free kick down the right. Four minutes remaining before full time in regular time. I could imagine there would be a couple of minutes of stoppage time. Bankstown City, big kick, but straight into the arms of Marconi keeper, Danielle Greeny. Just had a work cut out for her today. Heidi Bennett unleashes down the right, but can only find a Bankstown player. Marconi down the left. And Claire Korn says, no, switch it to the right, give it to me. But Bankstown defenders again have it covered. Ambrose takes it very well. Stratton passing back to Jasmine Lawler. Annabelle Forbes couldn't couldn't get it away, so Marconi have possession. Just as quick as they get it, Bankstown just as quickly take it off them. Very pressing side they are, Bankstown City. Not leaving anything to chance. Definitely don't look content with a 7-1 scoreline. Olivia Marcioni. Substitute. Oh, big boot there from Nicole Carmichael. A 
tussle there. Tanya Babin. One minute to go of regular time. Ambrose. To Mustagimi. Switch of play to the right for Bankstown. Back to Ambrose. Unleashed down the left for Stratton. But just kicked out there by Erin Cleghorn. She's had a good game, been where, she, been where she needs to be today. Oh, lovely kick there from Sky Casaccia, but taken well by Danielle Greeny, Marconi goalkeeper. She kicks it down the middle. Bankstown defend once again. Heidi Bennett to Danielle Greeny. Oh, just turns over possession to Bankstown. Casaccia crosses it in. But Marconi have it covered at the back. But no. Find Stretton. Oh, she does have a shot at goal, but nice save there by Danielle Greeny. Still in play. Bankstown in a very dangerous position. Taken well by Danielle Greeny. And that's it. Referee calls full time here at Jensen Park. Bankstown City Lions defeat Marconi Stallions 7-1. I'm Melissa Musket, and it was a pleasure to bring you this match of the round here tonight. Have a lovely evening.